Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're coming back or if you're new, welcome. I'm Anna. This is Practical and Pretty. I do tie dyes and other things. So today I'm going to show you how I did a shibori folded t-shirt. I'm starting by just doing an accordion fold. If I were to do this again, and I have done this since, the way I would start this is folding it in half first, just so that the center is right along the middle and not off to the side a little bit, which is what happened with this, but it still turned out really cool, so I thought I would share it. So after you fold it, accordion fold it there, you're gonna do a flag fold from the bottom, so you fold it like a triangle, and then uh, you can see here, fold it up along that long edge, and then the short edge, and then the long edge, and then the short edge, you know. You've all folded a flag, right? So then you're gonna take sinew, and I just wrap it around the little edges. I did it about five times, then use a sinew puller, or for me, I'm just using PVC pipe. Wrap it around and pull it as tight as you can without breaking the sinew, because if you break the sinew, it's like impossible to get off. Speaking from experience. You can see here, I was really trying to get it as tight as I possibly could because I really wanted to see stark lines in the final look. I'm not sure if I really got that stark of lines, but it still turned out cool. I just don't think I needed to pull it as tight as I did. I don't think it would have had much of a difference. So next I put magic tracks around it just to hold in the ice, then dump some ice on it. For this one, I'm doing the dye over the ice, obviously, because I have now put the dye there. Started with deep space on one half of the shirt. I love deep space. It's like a cool purple, navy blue, really cool color. You're gonna let that ice melt and then let it sit. I let it sit for about four hours. Then I flipped it over. You can see there's some white space. Usually there's a bit more white space. I did a lot of dye and ice on this one, so it came through a little bit more. I used the color mustard. This is a pro chem color. Use the color mustard on the other side. I've been wanting to do blue and yellow together, and this turned out pretty cool. I like it. I was hoping for some jewel tones, and I got it. So here is the rinse out project project process. Here's the rinse out process. I start by rinsing it in cool water until it runs relatively clear. Then I heat up the water, get it as hot as I can, and keep just rinsing and wringing and rinsing and wringing. Usually go for about three to five minutes. Try to get as much color out as I can. And then I take blue Dawn dish soap and I just kind of squirt it on there. You'll see it in just a second. I'm just trying to get as much excess color out as I can. There's the blue Dawn dish soap, and then I get it all sudsy and rinse it out. There's the back of my head. You're welcome. I know people have been begging, but please let me see the back of your head. All right, here's the final result. There's a lot more white space than I was hoping for, but it turned out super cool. I really like the final look of this. Um, it's already sold, so if you like it, sorry, it's gone. Someone already owns it. Like and subscribe for more. Thank you.